Good afternoon and welcome to another snowy day here in Lincoln. The weather has been causing havoc around the city and across the county. Though it's slightly better today, a yellow, a yellow weather warning is still in place. Now, yesterday, Lincolnshire Police dealt with over 70 traffic-related incidents. There was gridlock and across the city and many people were stranded. A few are still stranded today, so the police are advising you not to drive unless absolutely necessary. Now, there are many roads across the county that are either blocked or deemed impassable. Uh, this includes the B1225 in Caister, the B1398 in Greyingham, the A46 at Usselby and the A46 at Foldingworth. There are also many more, so please check the Lincolnshire Police Twitter feed to find those ones out. Now, it's not just the general public who are being stranded and need to be rescued. Some police cars have also had to got stranded and need to be rescued. The gritting teams across the county have been working around the clock. Yesterday, gritting main roads over three times. However, with the weather conditions, it's making it rather hard for them to keep up. It's also, the health services have also been struggling with the weather. Many health, health professionals have been finding it hard to get in. So the RAF has been brought in to help medical staff and vulnerable patients get to Lincolnshire Hospital. But medical staff are doing their best to make it to the hospitals. One woman went viral on the internet yesterday after trekking through the snow for three hours to make it into the hospital. Some dedication right there. Now, non-urgent reparations are being cancelled in Lincolnshire for two more days due to the lack of staff being able to make it in. And also the Emergency Response Charity Live is running a reduced service. Their volunteers have been working overnight and around the clock and as many are still out responding to 999 emergency calls. Now, the, on the A52 between Boston and Skegness, army vehicles were deployed to try and help stranded vehicles and hundreds of schools have been closed across the county today due to the unsafe weather conditions. There are also still lots of train delays and cancellations. Please check the websites for updates as many train providers are offering reduced services to combat with the weather conditions. Now, although the snow wasn't as heavy last night, there's still major disruptions, so please take extra care when on the roads or even when walking. It can be very slippery and don't go out unless absolutely necessary. Chief Constable Bill Scully has a message for the people of Lincolnshire. Well, winter has come back to the county with an absolute vengeance. And with amber and yellow snow warnings in force, we are set to have further snowfalls and plummeting temperatures for the next couple of days. But that picture can change rapidly, so I would ask all members of the public to regularly check with social media and news websites in order to get the best information for your area. I know that a lot of people have made choices about their safety uh, and to avoid making travel plans where possible. And I'd encourage you to listen to the warnings that are coming from emergency services and also local authorities so that you are as safe as possible during this cold, difficult weather. I'd like to thank all my staff who have gone to their best efforts to ensure your safety and indeed all of the emergency and social services who are there for your protection and I'd ask that you work with us to ensure that the next few days pass as safely as possible. So thank you again for looking after your own safety and please listen to all the warnings that are issued over the next few days where temperatures and weather are set to continue to be quite difficult. Now there is some good news for the people of Lincoln. The first tickets for Lincoln City's Checker Trade Trophy final at Wembley go live later on today. Season ticket holders can purchase tickets online from 7pm today and, others, and season ticket holders are able to purchase them in person from St Sil Bank next Monday between 10am and 3pm. General sale tickets will be available online from 7pm next Tuesday so keep an eye out for those. Now, as many of you will be at home today, it's the perfect opportunity for you to celebrate World Book Day. Grab a blanket, sit, ne sit next to a radiator and curl up with a good book. That is something I will definitely be good doing when I get home. As always, you can keep up to date with the latest news on our Twitter at LSJ Tweets or find us on Facebook. But make sure you keep warm and most importantly, stay safe. <laughs>